Hello and welcome back to Tech Day's 10 Minute IT Jams. I'm Tech, ne Tech Day's Managing Editor and today we're talking about workplace diversity with Aussie Broadband's General Manager of Corporate Affairs, Janet Granger-Wilcox. Aussie Broadband is an Australian telco provider of internet, mobile and many other services to local businesses and consumers. The company is based in regional Victoria and provides services across all of Australia. Welcome, Janet. Thank you. All right, we'll get stuck into our first question. Why is diversity in the workplace important? Well, look, there, there's a whole pile of research out there um, that says that diversity provides better business um, decisions and, and it provides value to the business in dollar terms. Um, but um, that aside, I think that diversity provides a couple of really important benefits. Number one is, uh, you know, we serve a diverse uh, customer base and to do that, it's helpful for us to have a diverse staff who understand exactly where our customers are coming from. So diversity offers you um, customer insights in ways that you might not have otherwise. Uh, but more important than that, I think diversity is really important to Aussie Broadband because um, we have a very strong philosophy about being good to people and being able to bring your whole self to work. And for us, um, inclusion and diversity go hand in hand. And if our staff feel like they're able to be themselves at work, then they can concentrate on their work. Uh, and and it's just, uh, it's, it's a simple be good to people thing, but it also has a side benefit that people are more um, productive, I guess, in the workplace. I think, um, I did see some research recently that said in the LGBTIQ plus community that if somebody is trying to hide their identity, it sucks up about 30% of their productivity because you can't have a water cooler chat about what you did on the weekend and you're kind of constantly self-editing what you say and what you do. Um, and, you know, I don't want anybody at Aussie Broadband to feel that way, not only because we lose that 30%, but... Um, what, but that's no way to work, you know, and that's no way to be at work. When work takes up such a large part of your life, and we want our staff to feel comfortable to be themselves. And if they want to be out, they're out. And if they don't want to be out, that's their choice as well. Uh, I'm not saying you have to <laughs> have to do anything, but my aim and our aim as a company is to um, provide an environment where people feel safe to be themselves. Brilliant. So I understand you've won an award for your diversity initiatives at Aussie Broadband. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Thank, first you. Of all. Thank you very so, much. <laughs> uh, what advice would you give to other organisations who want to maybe approach um, diversity and inclusion in their workplace? So number one, I, I would say get really clear on why you want to do it. Um, and for us, I mentioned before that um, being good to people is really important to us. It is so important to us that it's one of our five values in the company. We have, um, our values are how we do business. They don't just live on the wall, although you can see them there. Uh, they live within the business and we use them to make business decisions every day. Uh, and they are, don't be ordinary, be awesome, think big, uh, be good to people, have fun and no bullshit. I hope I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that in your podcast but um it's it's um it's really those those values drive what we do and so be good to people is a very clear mandate and no ball is it also a very clear mandate for diversity and inclusion in our company and i think the first step for anybody who wants to pursue this is to get very clear from a senior leadership team level down about why you want to do this um, and then secondly I think my advice would be um, not a big fan of strategies and targets and all that kind of stuff. It, I've seen that happen over and over and over again in, in other businesses. And I think <clears throat> that's actually a really slow way to do things. For us, it's all about the small stuff. So we've, we take small steps wherever we can see them um, to improve inclusion and diversity in our company. And small things might be reviewing or running all of our job adverts and position descriptions through gender neutral um, language tool online and making sure that, they, that uh, those, those ads are, are gender neutral. It might be um, 
you know, making sure that we visibly display LGBTIQ flags um, or pins or, or um, symbols across the business. It's just, we try and embed it everywhere in the organisation rather than kind of going for a large strategy and a large and, and, and targets. We, it's everyday life at Aussie. And if you really want to make a difference in diversity and inclusion, I think that's the way to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I understand the uh, Rainbow and Torres Strait Islander and Aboriginal flags fly outside um, your head office in Morwell. Um, you've kind of touched on this a little bit um, in the previous questions, but can you explain more about what Aussie Broadband um, does to promote or support diversity and inclusion? Yeah, so everything that we do is driven from a staff working group. So we set up a um, set up a working group really early in the in the piece of the company's expansion, and that group um, drives everything that we do. Um, so it's re we've really got kind of grassroots level staff involvement in in the actions that we take. We have um, so coming from that staff working group, we've got a whole range of initiatives, the small things like I mentioned before, making sure that we've got visible signs of support and inclusion, including flags. Um, and I can tell you that you don't see too many rainbow or Torres Strait Islander or indigenous flags in the industrial area of the Latrobe Valley. So it's, quite, it's a bit of a statement, but um, statements aren't, you know, like that aren't the only thing that we, we go after. So we have a whole range of training modules that we call our Be Good to People training modules, and they're around a whole range of aspects in diversity and inclusion, multiculturalism, um, LGBTIQ, uh, disability, all of those sorts of aspects of, uh, of diversity. Um, we do strategic sponsorships for, um, for particular diversity um, initiatives that we want to support. Um, some of that sits around um, gender, so we're trying to support women into tech. Um, when, I, when I first started at Aussie, I could walk down one end of the building where all the tech support was provided and I'd raise the estrogen content by 100% just <laughs> walking through the door. But, now, but um, it didn't take much and now I think we've got between 30 and 40% of our tech support team are, are women including um, senior managers in that part of the business. So um, it, it really didn't take much for us to start to shift that and, and look where we are today. Job opportunities are a big part of our diversity and inclusion program. And we do things like um, we support a uh, disability shadow, job shadow day program in Gippsland that, um, that puts people with disabilities in to shadow someone for a day. Um, we do, um, we make sure that all of our language is inclusive. We have Slack channels for different parts of uh, or different aspects of inclusion. There's just a, a kind of whole range of stuff that we do. Um, and we also do a fair bit of work in the Latrobe Valley, which is a quite low socioeconomic area because it's going through transition around coal mining. Um, and we do a pile of work um, in, in the, to support uh, longer term unemployed people into roles with our call centres as well. Brilliant. All right. So you've talked a, a wee bit about how you work with a community. Um, how do you kind of explain, well, I guess, how do you attract that talent to Aussie Broadband as a company? Well, uh, I think Part of it is making sure that we're visible and public about this sort of stuff. So um, we have blogs on our website about what we do. I remember the stir that we caused a couple of years ago because we, all of our staff are Australian based. They don't all have Australian accents. <laughs> uh, and, but some customers expect an Australian accent on the other end of the phone. That's not what Australia is. Um, so we, we actually had to um, make a, or take a stand around racism against our staff and said that we, we wouldn't um, put up with that. And so um, that actually caused a bit of a stir and caused some news coverage even because we, we took that stand um, to support our staff. Um, so it's it, attracting talent is really making statements like that. You know, we attend Midsummer Festival in Melbourne and make sure that the LGBTIQ plus 
community know that we're a safe place to work. We make statements on our website, we do articles, we do social media, all of those sorts of things to attract diverse talent to the, to the company. Brilliant. All right. So we've talked about how you attract talent. You've uh, talked about a wee bit of some of the um, programs that you run in the company. How else do you get staff engaged in diversity and inclusion? I think it's really asking them what they would like to happen across the company. So um, we, like I mentioned before, we have a, a staff working group that drives most of what we do. Um, we, all, we use Slack quite a lot for communication across the company, especially right now during COVID, because about a third of us are working from home. Uh, so we have um, specific Slack channels that address different areas of um, diversity and inclusion. We have a Pro Aussie Pride network that are very active um, in their support of staff and, uh, and activities that they do. Um, so we, we try and um, make sure that all of our activity is driven by staff and that staff have the opportunity to to have their say in it and and you know engagement is is not much more than that it doesn't have to be more difficult than that it just has to be making sure that you consult with people and that they have a chance to have a say brilliant oh my gosh Aussie broadband sounds like a fantastic place to work <laughs> it is <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that concludes our Tech Day 10 Minute IT Jam with Aussie Broadband's General Manager of Corporate Affairs, Janet Granger Wilcox. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for interviewing us. Thank you.